because I ain't gonna lie, I know I'm a fucking outcast. I know I'm the one that grew up in foster homes. I, my siblings didn't even know where I was at. Hey, gang in here, what's pep? What's up, y'all? Gang, we packing up and getting ready to get up out this room here. Now we going to Hattiesburg. What? I'm just all down in the south, chilling like a motherfucker. Yesterday, y'all got to meet my dad. Time for me to take this out. Look like a nigga's edges, huh? This is our last day here in Quitman, Mississippi. And actually, I'm in Meridian right now, but the final day is going to be in Quitman, Mississippi for the fish fry is going down for the summer raw reunion. So on my dad's side, we are summer raws and then I became a, damn, then I became a Shabazz. And this was nice, this was cool as fuck. This is the first time my dad's family ever met me. My grandparents on my dad's side has passed away. I learned a lot. It was cool kicking in with my siblings. It's 11 of us, but only, I wanna say, Five, including myself, was here. Tez got to meet, you know, the family. Say he didn't come, y'all, because he's working. My nigga couldn't take off. He had to get that check. Yeah, baby. Mm. And my other kids is in Colorado. And as y'all know, my oldest son is in jail. So, yeah. Shit's finna turn around for the better for our family. And, yeah, we finna pull up on niggas like, we're playing, nigga. Because <laughs> one of my cousins, this nigga, Met me talking about some, oh, she was a secret. No, bitch, nothing about me. Never been a secret, cousin. Never. On mamas. And I, oh. So that's what I was telling y'all when I told you, nigga, my, my background is difficult. It's different. I was passed around like a motherfucker. As y'all can see, my daddy didn't even know that I had a fucking abortion at the age of 13. As he told y'all, my granddaddy paid off his attorney, da 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 blah, blah, blah. The understanding I got is that my mom committed suicide. That's what I was told. As y'all can see, she in the grave. So what really happened? Bitch wants some investigation. I want to do an investigation. I want some answers. You feel me? But it was all the people that know is dead. And she wasn't with my daddy at the time. So that shit's deep too. And I love me some me, no matter what I've been through, what niggas didn't expect for me to have or look like or be like. My dad, that nigga put me on blast yesterday at the motherfucking family reunion. They was like, so we gonna give y'all history on your family. So yeah, listen up. My dad's gonna say, out of all the kids that's there, Kalila, make sure you listen. But I came back to my senses, cause like nigga, if you would've came looking for me nigga, when they took me from California, nigga, if you would've did some shit too, don't make me go off on you nigga, cause I'm trying to be respectful, you figure deal I me? Mean? But if niggas really would've played their position, then I would know my family too nigga, yes. Once I got, became an adult, my dad was telling me to come out here for the family reunions at this point, nigga. I done made my own family. I got kids, I got shit to take care of. I can't just jump and go to a family reunion. But anywho, Cut all that out, cause I'm grateful and thankful to even be in this place right now. But I do be still having my insecurities about shit and I be feeling a certain way about shit because I ain't gonna lie, I know I'm a fucking outcast. I know I'm the one that grew up in foster homes. I, my siblings didn't even know where I was at. They thinking that, oh, your grandma took you. No, no, my grandma did not take me. My real biological grandmother passed away before I was even born. So how she take a nigga? Me and my dad, we really gotta talk. Cause you know, and really get into some deep questions. It's gonna be some shit that hit a nigga, gut punch a nigga, you know? But shit, that's the process we gotta go through. And I think we kind of like tiptoeing around. And it's just like, at this point, like for an example, I feel my dad a little bit because he's like, shit, you grown. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not finna, same way with my kids. Hey, you mad at me, you don't like me for a certain whatever, that's cool, bitch, but I'm not finna base my life on that. I gotta keep going, I gotta stay alive. I can't put my ne energy into that negative shit. Shit done happened in the past, now we're gonna get over it. Either we moving forward or what. But I still be wanting to know as an individual. So then I can have better clarity and understand that, oh, so this is why I was like this. I'm ready to head to the valley where the girls get naked. I'm still trying to look for a clever bitch be the job for season three. Quit black out here. Yeah, my dad is cool, people. So I fuck with the nigga, you feel me? Like, I'm going to start because, you know, shit. 
I don't know shit about him on why he left and a whole bunch of stuff. You know, he's Muslim, so they got different laws and regulations and lifestyles and shit like that. So right now, I'm just gonna embrace it all, enjoy the moment. And yeah, I'm about to head to this fish fry. I need to take these crochets out, y'all, for real. Oh, y'all, drop, drop a comment below. Tell me what y'all think I should do. Should I cut my shit off again and go bald like my Amber Rose? Or should I keep getting different hairstyles? What you think? Cause I could wear anything, a bitch just fine like that. You think that they on me? <laughs> Should be happening. Everybody got trauma in their family and shit like that. Try and get past that shit. Life's too short, you know. I'm definitely not dwelling on it, but there's a lot of shit I wanna know and learn about on both sides. As far as I know, I'm the only kid out of his 11 kids, as far as I know, that was in a foster home um that was passed around you know what i mean through different family members and not on his side on my mama's side only because once i'm gonna go back to that story don't forget i told y'all the story time about me you know leaving from california going to denver that was one huge thing because yeah niggas just took me got shit right to 3655 lightning street west poppin nigga park hill sorry hill building shit nigga dummy it's like no but for real and that's where life really began for me, y'all. I guess it did begin in California because I was pregnant at 13 and had an abortion. But I, to me, I feel like I didn't really experience nothing because, yeah, it was the fucking I was with somebody and that was it. But, you know, I got out here and this was when I experienced like a real, I ain't gonna say a real relationship, but being in a relationship with going to bed, waking up with this nigga type shit. I did that with the 22 year old but it wasn't really like like that it was like that some days out of the week but not -uh. my first baby daddy that i actually had a baby with oldest child we lived together at his people's house and yeah that was rough too that was different different hella different my dad is gonna come visit hopefully one day soon so then i can really ask him questions not sit in a fucking car and ask questions i'm talking about really ask but i got questions for that nigga like for real like i know there was no facebook and all that shit so why you stopped looking for me why didn't you look for me you had kids after me you feel me i'm not tripping because i love all my siblings but Nigga, don't put me on fun. Talking about some call you a listen. The fuck, dad, listen, where was you at? Self-made, every day, all day, nigga. I didn't have no parents. Nobody raised me. The streets raised me. I was my baby daddies, you feel me? Like, for real. But never get it twisted, nigga. I never stayed with a nigga for free. Never stayed with a bitch for free, nigga. Never ate for free. I paid my way in everything. Can't no nigga, no bitch, nobody ever be like, oh, she owe me. Oh, whoop -de -whoop. no, nigga. The state facts, real, real shit, no cap, nigga. Don't play with me, <laughs> self-made bitch. Uh -huh. Look what I turned out to be, thugging, thugging. And that's why I say thugging, nigga. My daddy can't tell me I ain't no thug. Bitch, you wasn't there when I got molested. You wasn't there, nigga. When I was in and out of foster homes, my mama died. Yeah, they kept me from you. But at the same time, with you being my dad, nigga, mm, I don't know. I think niggas could have fought a little harder for me if they really wanted to. Like real shit. And if I go back to what people have actually said to me about certain shit, yeah. So I don't want no pity party. You feel me? I'm 10 toes down. I'm a never foe. I'm strong. Ain't nobody made me but God. Real shit. So if there's anybody out there that can relate to me to where your mama probably passed away, um, your dad left at a young age. You grew up in foster homes. You got more than one baby daddy. You really a thug. I ain't never been no hoe. Believe that. But I have been pimped. And when I say pimped, nigga, anybody can get pimped. And what I mean by pimping is shit. Yeah, I live with a nigga. I bought that nigga a car. And then I didn't buy me no car. That's pimp shit. The fuck, goofy ass girl. How you making sure everybody else good, but you ain't good? You think it on me? Like real shit. I always was a working bitch. Always had my own. Always did what I needed to do to get through. Like real shit. So I'm thankful for me, my five children, my five grandchildren. It was definitely a blessing and a pleasure for my son to come down here and meet my dad for the first time. I think first or second time. And that nigga 22. You feel me? 
So I got a 28 year old that ain't never met her grandpa. So, you know, we ain't the Brady Bunch family. We learning, we trying to come together. Like real shit, we trying to get it together. And it's gonna take some time, but we will one day. You know, just pray for us, gang. And thanks for taking the time to listen to this video and watch and meet my my dad and my cousins and shit. Shit, first time y'all met him, first time I met him too. <laughs> I love my siblings, but you can also tell that them niggas love each other, you know, and that's tight. Cause they grew up together, they know each other, you know, and they know of me. They know, oh yeah, she a sister, boo, you know? So you could definitely kind of see like how they, you know, they tight. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Oh, mamas, on everything I love. I love them for that, because I ain't never had that. But one thing you will have to do is like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for that motherfucking channel, because you never know what a bitch gonna drop in this motherfucker. On to the next city. I'm out here feeling like a baddie. I need a bus. Natalie Nunn, where the fuck you at? Where ain't no bus, bitch? Sorry.